everybody. NJ Bike Life here. Out on this beautiful day. Finally got out of work a little bit early so I can enjoy some sunlight. I don't have to do any videos on the weekend because I can ride during the week. This is so awesome. I don't know where to go because this is so new to me. But whatever, I'm out. I don't care. Rant, rant. Maybe this weekend I'll go out into the woods and ride some trails with motocross gear on. That'll be something different. Whoa, rolling cold, man. Sweet. Said no one ever. But for real though, I kind of want to go out this weekend. a new job on Monday. I don't know if you guys know, but I've been uh, wrapping cars lately, like doing cars, signs, vinyl wraps, all things like that. And I recently just got another job. So my first day for that new job is going to be Monday. I don't know if it's going to mess with the motoblock uh, schedule. Hopefully it doesn't. I mean, it's only 40 hours a week, and at this, at my current job, I'm doing like well over 40 a week, so, and I still have time to make the videos, so I don't think it'll affect the schedule. But you never know. Anything can happen. slave didn't work which I mean I can see it working just because the clutch slave was absolutely filthy it wasn't even like engaging when I would push the, the slave in the rubber like was completely overgrown it was all caked up inside I see white cars behind me and I look twice in case they're like a cop or something I don't have mirrors, as you guys know, I mention in every video. So I don't know who's behind me. So I gotta keep a constant look. One time I got pulled over because my license plate was invisible. So the cop said, even though it's perfectly visible. And, um... that the cop was pulling me over because I couldn't even see. So uh, what I did was just look at the reflections of the signs and then if you see like your headlight will normally like make those lights brighter. So I just did that and I was just looking for if I see any colored lights. And I mean good thing I was looking because that was 
the thing that told me, like, hey, you're getting pulled over, man. So, that's a good thing. If you guys don't have mirrors on your bike like me, use, this, use the lights. And that'll be sure that you don't get, uh, eluding the police. That's 195. I ride on that thing all the time when on the when on the Honda. What's in there? It's like a bunch of greenhouse. Oh, you know what? That's a that's a plant nursery. That woman looked at me, so I revved my engine at her. Take that. That's what you get for looking at me, woman. the dirt bike again. I don't know if the Honda is going to get ridden anymore. Especially with this great awesome dirt bike that I don't have to ever do anything to because it's awesome. Except for change oil. That's about it. I can't tell what gear I'm in the Honda. It tells me what gear. This bike doesn't tell me nothing. It tells me speed, and the speed's not even right. I'm sitting here just playing the guessing game half of the time. America! You guys see that guy's American flag? Man, it feels so good to have clean goggles. I can actually see everything. I wish these things were polarized. That'd be sweet. Polarized dirt bike goggles. They're probably expensive though. These things are only 25 bucks. Cannot beat 25 dollars. Doll hairs. Check out my shadow. Hi shadow. How you doing? Hope everything's all right. I'm doing good, well, too. Thank you. Peace, Shadow. I just want to ride in the shade all day. This shade feels so... Nah. They've had that thing like that for like four years now. It's like, why even cut the trees down? You're not even going to use the land. There goes all my oxygen, my oxygen, my oxygen. There goes all my 